right there if you can to come down which now I can use this to push that down like so if it's acting it's not funny so okay, as you can see it's acting a little bit strange so it's probably because of that little part's right there so like that and then it, that should come down no wait no I'm just an idiot I it's been a while so I'm just kinda of stupid <laughs> Yeah, but unfortunately, um, push that down a little bit, just enough to right around there. And unfortunately, this little, uh, this little tiny part, I'm gonna get as close as possible. So this little little part is supposed to kind of go right in between the, like a little nick right between there, which can be a little hard. But as you can see, I'm trying to do my best without losing it, so I'm gonna get closer to the ground. There we go. Should fit in there just like that. And fortunately, as the other side, like so, like that, uh, as best you can. So, um. Once you get that in there, do not potentially try pulling it back or anything. That will cause it to try to spring out and you might lose it, so don't do anything <laughs> stupid like that. That's definitely a no-no. Now, you kind of want to get this little sucker, these little two prongs, back against that little spring down there. Like, so you're kind of trying to get that like that. And then kind of just push that down like so. And then kind of loop it in there push back down like so re re put this sucker back in unfortunately as you know I didn't pull up uh, have a pin in this one because I just don't have it uh, for this model unfortunately I actually don't prefer it in this model because it acts strange for me and usually there's enough stuff in general that I prefer to just leave it that way for a certain reason I'm not going to say what the reason is, but no, it, it does function fine, and it actually, because I have it in there, it actually causes a little, it causes a, some kind of, uh, in my mind, some kind of weird stability kind of thing, so I actually have it because, unfortunately, for there, it just seems to work well without it, and for me, it seems to cause a little bit of excess, a tiny, tiny gram of excess weight in general can slightly affect anything, so that's one reason for why, but I'm I'm just rambling, so don't take my word for it. I just... If anything, I can't really say in general that it will uh, don't do anything or what won't do anything. That's just how I feel about it. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. And besides, uh, now I'm going to put this little sucker back in. But for that, we need these guys. Unfortunately, this also holds this part really pretty much down as well. So that's another reason why I don't put it back in there. Now, when I push down like so, hold it, push that sucker down like that, push it all the way down like that. Not like this, but unfortunately like this, I'm just going to leave it like that just for the time being until I have to put the top part on. Usually, um, it's, it's sometimes easier to go from the other side, but uh, like they, you, which I, one side, like what they say, you might ask why am I not doing this side? Well, unfortunately, it's actually easier to do this side first uh, rather than actually going in complete full reverse. Now here comes the annoying part. You have to get this little, this little kind of sucker to go like this, and then eventually push up with your thumb like that. Have it like like this, and then try to wedge it in place, and then kind of use your thumb to try kind of pushing that spring into place, which can be a big pain. And you, it's actually better if you have long nails. That's one reason why I have a long thumbnail because it's easier because I can push that like this, like this in place and then kind of push down boom gets in place so I'd say yes having slightly long nails those might make you sound a feminine or whatever but who really cares as long as you get the stupid hey god dang thing in that's all that really matters now I just have to as you can see it just kind of holds on there so I just kind of have to kind of like that and I just start putting the bolts back in and at the same time I'll do a firing demo once I get this thing assembled so we can see how well it works Fortunately, I will admit the fact that since the parts are new, it's like a car, it will have to take a bit of time to kind of want, you know, want to play nice with others. So that's another little thing. Usually when people do this, I won't lie, when I do this, I have to kind of test it for a while because unfortunately it parts when she placed inside, if a new car, yeah, it'll work, but sometimes later on once it gets running, yeah, yeah, it works for a while, but then afterwards it doesn't want to play nice or you're not punchy integrating it into the system properly enough. So you might cause like you might try to push it harder than it can, can be. So when I when I won't lie, I'll have to eventually use this for a while, but not eventually strain the gun like crazy, like like taking it into an, a, into a match. I'll have to just kind of you know practice and eventually you know 
do it, uh, do the thing in such as play around with it, like in the, like, you know, for firing testing and stuff like that. But that aside, now that should just kind of go back into the little, uh, little, uh, pinhole right there. Like so. That goes like that. This one just goes, uh, kind of, uh, goes like that. Much now. The hard part will always be this part, so keep that in mind. Kind of put that little sucker down there. And then kind of, you know, like that. Push that down like so. Try to slightly kind of, you know, put your hand in it. And if you're lucky, if it doesn't shoot off on you, uh, fortunately these little less and different guns have like little pegs that, like this, that push, hold that down in, in place. Then just kind of get that sucker right on there. Now it should be fine if I just kind of keep pushing. It should be fine. Obviously put this bolt in first because that's kind of the main bolt. Don't over potentially, like, don't just, like, you know, as you can see, I didn't turn it, like, it can still go more, but I don't want to cause too much, uh, turn, uh, well, I just, I just want it to slightly be slightly tight, because you can see, like, I'm kind of, you know, very, I'm not just going to go, urch, because I could either snap the bolt or cause damage or strip it, so, and unfortunately with these kind of metal frames with the silver, they're, they seem to strip a little easier than most, so I don't really... So once I get to a certain point, uh, I can, when I start to feel like it's slowly tightening up, which I you know, I don't really just crank it. I just slowly kind of keep turning until I kind of feel a little bit more and then kind of, you know, keep doing so until I, I'm not trying to like just overly as easily, then I keep turning. Then after that, I feel the weight, make sure it clicks like so, as we can see, clearly see it works. But now just because it doesn't feel a little bit stable, I need, now I need to tighten it just a little bit more on each side. That's pretty much what you should be doing pretty much with any any of your guns, is the fact that you should make sure that does that. Then pretty much, you, you know, give that a little bit excess tighten. As you can see, not too much. Now I'll do the same for this side. So, what you want to do is not just, you know, just go crank it, because that's stupid. So, just, as you can see, as best I can, just kind of slightly, kind of, you know, just a little bit more. Not, just by a few uh, excess centimeters or whatever meters or whatever the crap, but you don't want to just over, overdo it to the point where it's just like, gonna be a problem so there we go and yes that also also helps with the with the stability of the gun so such as um it helps it kind of you know feel a little more balanced if you just torque it it feels really strange it's hard to explain but anyone who has probably uh had one of my own customs like this one person who bought my gold version he he'll probably understand the aspect of it because that's how it is so once i put as you can see i slide it back on so uh this side like that to here like this and unfortunately, that part remains down because it fortunately will get, it kind of, you know, it fortunately gets a little screwed right here, so. Sometimes it gets, it's, it would be easier to show you if this part wasn't in the way, but push back like so just a little bit, like so it's kind of cocked back, and then potentially push this down like so. And now it's potentially on there good. <laughs> now, time to put my compensator her back on like so. And there we go. Goop. Now I just need the little screwdriver that I had from earlier, which was this one. And there you go. Pretty much a fully disassembly and reassembly of pretty much my own customary, which I've been wanting to do that for a while. Oh man, that feels so much nicer. And it looks a lot more cool with that skeleton trigger, just like the Wesker customary. <laughs> but with the very Burton modifications. So I think that's really cool. Now, um, I guess in general would be the secondary. Unfortunately, we'll have to cut off here for the moment, so end the video now.